Hi, I'm Marshall with Wholesale Mentoring. Real quick, just a reminder about our premier partner program. It's the easiest way to get into wholesaling. You find the property, we call the seller, we negotiate the deal, we close the deal, and then we split the deal with you 50-50. It's totally free to partner with us. Now call us today to see if your city is still available. Now to today's video. This is Rico with Wholesale Mentoring. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about how to talk to a seller, okay? Five questions, five questions that you need to ask uh, when talking to the seller, okay? These are not in order, uh, but feel free to put them in whatever order you need or whatever order you think they need to be in, okay? So uh, one of the questions I like to ask my sellers when I'm talking to them uh, is condition of the property, okay? I always like to ask condition of the property uh, just simply because you need to know, okay? So, just simply, hey, hey, uh, Mr. Smith or Mrs. Smith, how are you doing today? I was just curious, uh, what's the condition of the property? Okay, and just be quiet. Don't say nothing after that, okay? Simply just let them talk, okay? They're going to tell you everything you need to know about the property, okay? They're going to tell you that little Johnny had a BB gun and that's why there's a little hole in the wall, okay? You need to know all of that stuff, okay? But some of the things that you really need to know the condition on is the roof, okay? Because these are major these are major concerns and major repairs, okay? The roof, the plumbing, the electric, the foundation, and uh, the HVAC, okay? And the ductwork. All those are like major concerns when doing a rehab, okay? So definitely take notes and uh, write all that stuff down, okay? Uh, so one of the other questions I like to ask is how much do you need in order to sell? Okay, you want to find out how much they need in order to sell. You don't never want to tell your price first, okay? When uh, negotiating or talking to the seller, you don't never want to give your price first, okay? So you always want to ask them, hey, Mrs. Smith or and Mr. Smith, uh, sounds like you got a great property, doesn't sound too bad in condition. Um, how much do you need to sell? And just go and just be quiet. Let them talk, okay? A lot of times they won't tell you, okay? So you have to have some kind of uh, questions to counter to counter their answer, okay? You gotta have questions to counter their answer, okay? Me personally, I have like five or seven, okay? One of them you can say, oh, I'm I'm, I'm playing I'm playing a seller now. Um, I don't know how much I need. How much do you want to offer? Oh, Mr. Mr. Smith, Mrs. Mr. Smith. Uh, I know you might not know, but you know I don't want to insult you. Do, you. do you guys have like a ballpark figure? Okay, you can say that. You can say, do you have a ballpark figure? Okay, just think of some creative things to say to them. But you want to at least say something five times. Okay, you don't never want to give up your price first. Okay. Another thing that you can do to to help you. Uh, another question you can ask them to uh, help them give up the price is uh, how much do you think the property's worth okay a lot of times you can ask them how much you think the property's worth and they'll tell you oh I think you know the property in this condition now is worth 50,000 okay that's the price they want okay so that's another way to get the price out of them all right all right so on to my third question I know it sounds like a lot but just take notes you guys just take notes on to my third question is how much do you owe okay you want to find out how much they owe okay because you don't want to put in all this time trying to hold sell it and they owe 120,000 okay and it's only worth 130 you know how's it only worth 130 in their area okay so you want to find out how much they owe okay if they don't want to tell you um then you got to get it out of them some way somehow okay got to think of, uh, of some questions to counter their answers, okay? But you want to get how much do they owe, okay? Um, another question you need to ask is when do you want to sell, okay? This is very important. 
This is going to tell you how motivated they are, okay? When do you want to sell, okay? If Mr. and Mrs. Smith want to sell tomorrow, they are very motivated, okay? They are super motivated. If they say they want to, they need to sell quickly, there's a reason why they want to sell quickly. They are very motivated, okay? If you're talking to Mr. and Mrs. Smith and, and you ask them, oh, okay, uh, when is a good time for you to sell? How, how quick do you want to sell? Um, you know, I really don't need to sell right now, but, you know, I, probably within the next year, maybe. I'm just trying to see what I can get. Okay, they are not motivated. They are not hurting for any kind of money. They're not in no situation for you to help them, okay? okay they're not motivated. This probably won't work, okay? But when that year comes around, follow up with them, okay? That's where your follow-up comes in, okay? So don't throw the lead away. Set it on your calendar for a year now to follow up with them in that time. Maybe do it in seven months or five months or maybe once every month, okay? I would do once every month, just being honest with you, okay? So don't throw it away, you know, but definitely asking that question will determine their motivation. You'll, you'll know how motivated they are, okay? Now, one of the most important questions right here is, it's, it's not even a question. You want to find out their motivation, okay? You want to find out their motivation, okay? And what I mean by that, you want to know why they want to sell their property, okay? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the house sounds nice. Why would you even consider selling? Well, uh, you know, I just lost my job and my wife can't handle the mortgage payment anymore, so we have to downsize. I just really need help. Boom, you got it. They are motivated, okay? Now, you know why they want to sell their house. You need to you need to fix that problem for them, okay? Fixing that problem for them is going to be key to you getting this deal on the contract and wholesaling it to a buyer, okay? So, these five questions I hope are helpful to you. I hope you were taking notes. If not, rewind the video. But subscribe first, okay? Subscribe first and then rewind the video. And, um... Yeah, I hope this this video is, is key to your wholesaling business. So, thank you for coming out. 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 I really appreciate you guys, and I appreciate the support and love that you've been showing me. Uh, and like I said, please reach out to us. I really want to help you guys out. I really want to help you guys out, so please reach out to us. Uh, we can partner up. We got a premier partner program. Uh, so check that video out. Just, just scroll through our videos. Check it out and see how we can partner up in your city and close on deals. Um, but be sure to subscribe, click that bell, and listen. Listen, okay? One more thing before I go. You got to work hard now to live your best future, okay? Work hard now to live your best future because it's not going to be given to you. So let's go out here, put this work in so we can live our best future, okay? All right, and that's all I got for you guys today, and I'm out.